Um, you know, when you play a scale, like an E scale, um, then for some reason, oh, well, now they're going, I guess. Um, when you play a scale, you actually have one, two, three notes that actually function leading towards the tonal center of the four note, fourth note. In other words, this riff here sounds like it could be in the key of E or it could be in the key of A. Okay, pointing to this note. And then, so the third and also the seventh, if you want to call them guide tones, whatever you want to call them, but it's the third and the seventh that are a half step away. And we talked about this before that a scale is two tetrachords divided by a whole step. See it? Now, when I play this note, it, it sounds like it resolves. So what we're going to do is we're going to avoid that note, and we're going to actually play, we're going to skip the third, and we're going to move this, and we're going to take it down. So it's going to sound like it's a resolution of... And so now we're going to have this. Okay, instead of playing the scale, we're going to go... And we're going to do the same thing with the leading tone of this note. Instead of going like that, we're going to go, uh, we're going to go, now we're going to go, now we're going to go, jeez, hello, we're going to go like this. So. Repeat. Um, and now we have a kind of a lick here. The, uh, the, sorry. Now, when we, if we don't duplicate this note, and we get this, so in other words, we get. So the phrase kind of does things a little differently. Whoop. Let's hear it over a chord. It's kind of a neat sound, isn't it? So. I advise you to practice scales with skips in them. Don't always just go up and down, up and down. Play some things with a different feel to it. Now we could go like this, watch. That's a cool sound.
something like that. When you practice scales that way, now you've, you're creating a lick and, you, and you're creating a, a phrase that, that is just different than playing the actual scale over and over again. A lick like that, you got to switch back to coffee. <laughs> That's true. Jim Rolfe likes it. Thank you, Jimmy. Let's play it too. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the guitar videos I put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. And if you want to learn jazz, hey, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. You'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.